So uh, Presbyopia Therapies has been founded, formed to change the world for those that have presbyopia. And the question really is, can a drop do this? Uh, please play the video. I'm Lanya Daly. I'm a 55-year-old practicing optometrist with Discover Vision Centers in Kansas City. I'm a Plano presbyope. For the last several years, I've been working up to a plus two contact lens in one eye to induce monovision. If I don't have the contact lens in, I cannot see up close at all. I do have experience with liquid vision drops. My normal pupil size in this office lighting environment is about four millimeters. With the liquid vision drops, the average pupil size is 1.6 to 1.7. I can function in the exam room with our electronic medical records. I have no difficulty with driving. I can see the dashboard a lot better with the liquid vision drops than without. Mid-range is very, very good. The small pupil at night doesn't seem to cause any problem with driving. Regarding the dimming of vision, I noticed that a lot with the first few trials, but as I've gotten more and more used to the drops, uh, I haven't had any problem with uh, noticing dimming. Okay. I have a Word document that's about 10 to 12 font and without the liquid vision and just my naked eye I can barely read it at an arm's length but it's uncomfortable. I have 30 minutes after liquid vision at 12 inches I can read the same document just fine. It's really a little better back here at 16 but I'm, I'm good even up here with the liquid vision drops. Uh, uh, please uh, uh, stop the video. It's only a femtosecond laser and is being compared with LASIK. So what we have is a pinhole effect. Uh, it is not pilocarpine. Uh, everybody here is very familiar with pilo. It's been around many decades and many people have tried to use this for presbyopia. The original idea was uh, from Dr. Lee Nordan, who is no longer with us. He just passed away in uh, December. And the other co-founder, Dr. Horn, is here, who has really uh, developed uh, the drop. We have two actives. We have a cyclidine, which is the meiotic drop. And we have um, the cycloplegic is trapicamide. So what we're trying to do is somewhat counterintuitive, right? You've got almost opposing uh, aspects. You're, you're trying to have a, my, a meiotic effect without distance um, blur, without ciliary spasm, and we do that with what we call separation of meiosis with accommodation. So the idea here is simply a binocular treatment, about 20 to 30 minutes uh, upon installation, would last about six hours, and it's really meant to be a lifestyle drug. Uh, Rx drug and something that people would, would, would pay, self-pay. And um, we are in a phase two, uh, a 2B process right now, and we will have data completed um, by the AAO of next year. Thank you.